Hello, what's going on, YouTubers? Um, at long last, I finally got another um, opportunity to to <coughs> to film a proper video using a fairly adequate equipment. <coughs> so, um, so in this filming session, I I would like to resume um, my previous. Um, episode about you know the art of uh, procrastination <laughs> well um, b b basically speaking it's uh, <laughs> it it's about yes the um, the direct uh, ID crisis of our company and uh, I imagine um, a lot of uh, other um, companies um, based in Australia or registered in Australia. So um, today is the uh, let's check the date. Today it's the fourth of November, um, or the. Uh, um, Today is the 4th of November, Friday, um, nine, um, 2022, at local, um, at local Beijing time, <clears throat> and uh, and it, it's all it's already the 5th of November, 2022, at, at Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time slash um, Sydney time. So, um, so time truly flies quite fast. Um, well, according to the, according to, according to what? Um, according to Australian Business Registry Services, aka ABIS, um, we must apply for a a, um, a the director ID by the th by the thirtieth of November <coughs> two thousand and uh, two thousand twenty two. Yes. So um, I hope you <laughs> you guys out out there are um, are still. Um, holding up well since uh, we have got about um, tw um, 25 or 24 days you know before the day of reckoning <laughs> so to speak so uh, still um, if you um, in accordance and uh, um, pursuant to the pursuant to Pursuant to the CAT SI Act, um, aka the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Corporation Act, um, we have uh, we we have until the third the thirtieth of November year two thousand twenty three. Um, you know we have until such date. To continue procrastinating, <laughs> applying for a for a director ID. Um, so in this video, I just like to sh um, to you know to show you guys you know some ways you know that you can procrastinate. So doing. Um, so uh, first of all, you know the uh, first and foremost, you know the C A C A T S I Act, also known as <coughs> also known as the A Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Corporation A Act. Um, it um, stipulates um, that you know we have until um, well by the thirtieth of November two thousand and twenty-three to procrastinate applying for a 
d d a direct uh, ID. <laughs> um, so what exactly, um, what sort of, what sort of um, b b business a entity actually qualifies for being called a <clears throat> a, a cat side or, or you know or Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander um, corporation? <clears throat> well, I've looked through you know the you know the original well. It, not exactly the original act, but you know it's the uh, um, corporations Aboriginal um, corporations bracket Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Act 2026. In fact, um, it's uh, so far I conclude that in order to qualify for being called a um, a Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island Corporation. You um, you need to have you know you know <laughs> the name of your corporation or company needs to include the following. The corporation must have as a part of its name one of the following set of words: a Aboriginal Aboriginal corporation, b um, t b Torres Strait Islander Corporation, C. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Corporation, D. Torres Strait Islander and Aboriginal Corporation, um, E. Indigenous co Indigenous Corporation. Um, so that's an extract from. Um, excuse me, just need some liquid to moisturize my throat and tongue. So, um, it's the Chinese version of Red Bull. So I, I'm, I'm currently experiencing lots of uh, difficulties in, you know, in procuring slash uh, acquiring, you know, the, you know, the Thai or the uh, Vietnamese version of Red Bull, but still um, the Chinese version will, will do for, 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 for the time being so far. Um, so according to the, you know, to the CATSI or, or CATSI Act, Corporations bracket Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Act 2026, Division 20, um, um, Section of uh, cha Chapter 3, Part 3 4, Division 85, um, and you know, um, 85 1, Corporations Naming Requirements. You know, so I so so the parts I I just now read to you guys um, is an um, is an you know an extract of uh, you know of, of such act you know from chapter three part three dash four division eighty five um, eighty five dash one corporations naming requirements. So, and uh, on the other hand, you will also need, uh, well, please uh, uh, allow me to read the full one, you know, the full um, um, division 85-1, what names may a corporation have. The requirements concerning an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporation's name are set out in the following subsections. The corporation may have as as its name a name that is available see section 85-5 or the expression indigenous corporation number followed by the corporation's icm slash indigenous corporation number the corporation must have as part of its name one of the following set of words a aboriginal corporation b Torres Strait Islander Corporation, 
C. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Corporation D. Torres Strait Islander and Aboriginal Corporation E. Indigenous Corporation um, If the corporation is a registered native title body corporate, then the, co the corporation must also have as part of its name the words registered native title body corporate. If abbreviations are used in its name, the corporation must use only the abbreviations that are acceptable. Bracket C section 85-10. If the corporation is not a registered native title body corporate, the corporation must not have the term registered native title body corporate as part of its name or include the abbreviation RNTBC in its name. The requirements must be met by an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporation. Um, the requirements must be met by an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporation at all times after registration. Um, excuse me. Note: the requirements must be complied with on registration of an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporation. See section 29-25. Okay, um, so yeah, um, so in order to, you know, in order so that um, you as a, a director of a company of an Australian company, um, you can choose to procrastinate uh, applying for a uh, director I I ID, you know, by the 30th of November 2023. Um, um, you know, through the following methods, you know, me method n n number one is to resign, you know, as the company's that director, then you will have pretty much, you know, an, an in in um, in indefinite uh, uh, amount of time to procrastinate, <laughs> to procrastinate, applying for such, um, applying for a director I ID, you know, or you know, when um, whenever you see fit. And the reason, not, uh, not re uh, reason, but um, method no no number two we can use you know is to hire someone or have some someone you know who is you know who you know who who either has um who either has um a, um, a, um aboriginal and torres strait islander um genes or a heritage um you know to you know to get appointed as one of the, the the directors or or one a or the director of you know of your company of your Australian company so to speak um <coughs> excuse me and uh, also um do 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 take note that um, certain I, 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 certain individuals, um, um, s for some reason, somehow you know they have been banned or disqualified um, from be becoming company that directors. Um, well, um, you you can well which you you can look up at um, I. ISEC or ISEC's official web page, um, which I shall share with you guys um, where where to um, in this video. Um, also, um, through such website, through such web page, you, you can also look up those you know who you know um, those. Um, individuals, you know, who currently have um, their or Australian companies registered with ISEC, you know, slash or Australian Australian 
Securities and Investments Commission. Um, so you can look up, you know, you know those I I individuals, you know, who are who are currently run, who are currently running, you know, a company or companies or a bunch of, uh, you know, business entities, you know, non, you know, non, um, non sole trader business entities, you know, I I including but are not limited to companies or or trusts or trustees, um, and and you can you can look up, you know, those who have you know who are qualified and those who have been disqualified or banned you know from you know from from getting appointed or becoming company directors you know or at, at, at the same time and uh, you know uh, for certain privileged um, piece pieces of information you know you you can spend uh, around you know eight bucks eight to twenty bucks you know in Australian dollars you know you know on I, I ISEX official web page well you, you you don't have to purchase those pieces of privileged information from me but instead you, you can simply go to the website you know go to the web, web go to the web page and uh, you know see f and see for yourself so yeah um oh, jesus christ and uh, yes i have i shall also you know out outline you know and updated version you know of uh, of a decision matrix that um, details you know all sorts of options we have we currently still have as as company you know as as directors of Australian companies um, you, you will see them you know you will you will see them in no time in this in 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 this video um, at least you know you will see them in no time as as my most beloved patrons in this video so yeah um well just uh, these are the you know are the print are the printed page pages um you know i you know i printed out you know from you know from the you know not not from isec but from o o australian business registry services aka ab abis yes just for your information only yeah so yeah um in so in conclusion um all obviously you know the loophole you know we can you know we can stand to e exploit um, lies you know in the you know in the cat in, in the uh, <laughs> obviously the loophole we, we can stand to e exploit currently lies cu currently lies in the cat side act a a aka um, co aka corporations um, bracket a Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander um, Act 2006 um, maybe you know there are there are some uh, other you know I interesting details I, I found you know in this act um, just you know for your information yeah so um, it appears that you know a, a, a company, you know, a company, you know, an Australian co company, d does not have to have an ICN, you know, slash Indigenous Corporation number to qualify, you know, to qualify for being called an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporation. Since you know, I have seen. Um, well, uh, a, 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 at least you know, according to this document, you know, corporations bracket Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Act 2006, um, the 
you know the um apparently the um the um the you know the unique identifier for such for such document reads c202 one c00573 i repeat c202 one c00573 um so um it also has a a, a, a you know a, a table here at you know at section 25-15 you know to further prove my point here or, or to, 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 to further strengthen my suspicion or speculations here so it has it says as uh, acceptable abbreviations what number it can it can be abbreviated as no you know N N O and you know this the symbol and indigenous cooperation number uh, abbreviated as ICN or, or, or Australian business number abbreviated as ABN or re registered native title body abbreviated as RNTBC yeah abbreviation yeah it's called abbreviation in British accent even so yeah I hope um, this video can at least ease you know um, your tension you know your nervousness and mine at least for the moment you know by presenting you know a couple of options and alternatives um, you know by the day of reckoning <laughs> comes <laughs> and Jesus Christ yes um, I have to admit that filming this video and uh, and doing all these sort of you know chores of nasty paperwork all you know all feels all 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 feels as if you know I am you know I, I you know I came back to the days you know um you know on which you know I I I was rushing you know for the final for the final hours and uh, minutes available <laughs> before you know my my assignments slash pro project assignments group assignments became due so it's quite uh, both exciting and excruciatingly exhausting you know experience so it, it, it is certainly both a both an exciting and an excruciatingly exhausting experience so far <laughs> so yeah um i hope you know like I said, you know, gain some relief. I, you know, from um from this video. I also, you know, you know, as much as you know, I, I hope this video can ease our tensions and n n nervousness before the day of reckoning comes eventually, and it is part of the you know, part of the eventualities of the matrix we are currently residing in and uh, can't help but, but, you know, but continue to, to, to get stranded in and trapped in. So, so in, in any regards, yeah, I, I suppose, you know, due to the length of this filming session, I, I don't I actually um, have to make it pay Patreon or Patreon, you know, exclusive. So yes, it, it shall stay um, um, accessible to the public so long a a a a as I found, you know, no contradictions nor um, nor harm, you know, in seeing it remains available to the public you know um so yeah thank you very much for watching and listening to to this video
um, stay safe. Um, God bless. Um, au revoir. Cheers. And uh, let's uh, hope for the best and uh, prepare for the worst. Au revoir. Have a wonderful weekend and good luck to all of us. Bye.